Virgo, this for you, motivational tarot forecast, November 3rd into the 10th. You can apply it to your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign. Let's dive into the energies for you, Virgo. We are currently having a Mercury retrograde, so keep in mind that there could be some delays in communications, emails, malfunctions, especially in the beginning of the retrograde period. And, you know, just communication resurfacing you may hear from someone that you haven't spoke to in a while people usually hear from their ex or something like that you know what i'm saying so keep that in mind as well so let's see what these divine messages are that you shall receive virgo if it doesn't apply with you that's okay it's a hit or miss so keep that in mind as well these readings may not apply like i'm not going to resonate with everyone in the world for everyone that watches this video but you know Part of it will most likely probably resonate in some way. So you got to figure out which messages resonate with you in particular. So yeah, let's dive right into it, Virgo. All right, first card received, Two of Cups. No, this is the Lover's card. So look at that rainbow. I see you, Virgo. You, you got some love situations coming up. Looks like it's probably from the past, though, since we are in this retrograde period. If it's someone new, you could be starting something new, but um, let's see. Two of Cups. See, I knew it. I knew Two of Cups was coming through, too. So, yeah, you just, you're in a very love space right now, Virgo. Like, you're connecting with somebody, exchanging emotions and feelings. Um, it's a love partner from the past. Someone from the past that you were dating, you were seeing, or... You decided to commit is what I'm seeing during the Mercury retrograde. Um, but it looks like, you know, if a day you are from the past, it kind of would be okay to do this. Um, oh, y'all talking a lot with this Eight of Wands. Y'all back and forth with communications. Like, once you hear, you're like, like, you know what I'm saying? It's that kind of love going on right now. Like, once you hear that, you're like, oh, shoot, let me get my phone. Oh man, y'all, Virgo, y'all cute, yo. Six of Cups. That's that innocent childlike love. And I knew it. This is a love partner from the past. Um, you know, a childhood love kind of partner type of situation. That's what you focus on this week. That's so cute. I know not all Virgos doing this though. So that's what I'm seeing though. Somebody could be traveling from the past, like a love partner or something like that. Or this is just someone that, you know, you could have been in relations with in high school or just when you were younger, you've known them since you were young or something like that. Younger, like, you know, 17, 18, 19, I don't, well, it doesn't matter. I'm over here doing it by like my own age. But like, if you're, you know, in your young adult years, I guess like, 25 to 35 or something like that you could just be dating somebody like maybe from when you were in high school or something like that is what i'm trying to say um like 17 18 19 years old or something um i'm also seeing that you two both have kids already and you guys are really all getting along like your kid gets along with their kid and y'all chilling, like y'all going out on dates and like, you know, you could bring the kids with you and stuff because you guys all get along and you have fun. And um, yeah, it looks like pretty good. Let's get some clarifiers for this. So lover's card with this two cups. Knight of Wands. So you guys could just be a little bit, um, you know, passionate in the bedroom and in the past you got, okay, I'm seeing in the past you guys just kind of had one of those like friends with benefits type of situation, but now you guys decided to actually be committed. And then, um, the six of wands here. So there's, um, yeah, you feel victorious. Like you won this person over, like you feel like this is great like you're happy about it you feel like you won so good for you virgo see um that's what i mean by this reading may not resonate with because this ain't resonate with me i'm a virgo rising 
So I'm just saying like, it just depends on your situation. You know, for other people with this reading, there's somebody that you're really close to, friends with, that you're connecting with. So it doesn't have to be a love partner. I should have said that before, but I'm saying it now. So if you're not involved in like any love situations, then there's a situation where you're connecting with a friend or a family member that you're very close to and um you're going out with them a lot this week like you're spending more time with your friends and family um and you know you could be going to the movies or something like that too with them so that's what i'm seeing good luck virgo 